Mahaba. Welcome to Dubai. My name is Adam Keese, Chief Concierge of the Intercontinental Dubai Festival City. This is a spectacular city full of contrasting landscapes, rapid growth and limitless possibilities. This is my Dubai. We have an exciting location in the heart of Festival City and on the banks of the iconic Dubai Creek. Whether you're here for business or pleasure, everything you're looking for is just a stone's throw away. A perfect way to start your day is with an early morning jog around the Albadia hillside villages. Here you will find Arabian inspired architecture, beautiful golf course views and nice quiet roads away from the traffic. Well here we are at the Festival Waterfront Centre, directly connected to the hotel. Within the Festival Waterfront Centre you'll find 550 stores and 90 restaurants, cafes and bistros. A couple of ways to explore the precinct, of course to take a lovely stroll along the canal walk, or my personal favourite, climb aboard an Abra. Also adjacent to the hotel you will find the Festival Marina, where you can jump on one of the lovely vessels there and take a short boat ride up the creek to the Dubai Creek Golf and Yacht Club. There you'll find a number of different restaurants, outdoor terrace dining and of course their 18 hole championship golf course. I'm standing on the terrace of Spike's restaurant located at the Albadia Golf Course. Albadia is the second 18 hole championship golf course within short proximity of the hotel. And of course Spike's restaurant and its terrace is a lovely place to relax after a hard round of golf. Cheers. With state-of-the-art shopping malls, authentic marketplaces and no taxes, Dubai is a shopping destination unlike any other. Dubai is known as the city of gold and at any one time there can be over 25 tonnes of gold in Dubai shop windows. The gold souk is the perfect place to find that piece you're looking for, but never pay asking price, haggling is half the fun. A must visit on any trip to Dubai is to come and wander around the amazing spice souk. You'll know you're in the area by the incredible fragrances in the air. The best time to come down to the spice souk is at night time when there is a lot more activity in the air. There is no doubt that Dubai is a shopper's paradise, but when it comes to luxury, you cannot go past Darmani. Here you will find exquisite necklaces, rings, pendants, watches, and of course, the world famous Dubai cut diamond, exclusive to Dubai and exclusive to Darmani. This unique diamond comes with 99 special facets as opposed to a regular diamond with 56 facets. It gives a lovely brilliance to the diamond. If a lady wears a piece from far, anybody can really see and say it's a Dubai cut jewelry. 80% of Dubai's population are expatriates, and with them came their cuisines. Here is just a small sample of some of my favourites. Following an afternoon wandering around the gold and spice soups, I highly recommend taking an Abra ride and stopping in here at Kanzaman restaurant. Here you will find local Middle Eastern cuisine, a lively outdoor terrace, and of course right next to the Dubai Creek. One of my favourite local restaurants is Café Blanc. Famous for their traditional Lebanese cuisine, it is a must that you try the mez platter and of course their frosted minted lemonade. After dinner it's wonderful to head out onto the terrace here and enjoy a traditional Lebanese coffee and of course shisha. It is my absolute pleasure to present to you the Aquarium Restaurant. The Aquarium specialises in fresh seafood and fine wines from the Pacific Rim region. My favourite dish is the pan seared monkfish with a ginger red wine sauce. I highly recommend you come and see myself for advanced reservations as this restaurant is extremely popular. Dubai is a city like no other and you haven't fully experienced it until you've seen it by land, by sea and by air. To truly appreciate the landscape and colours of the desert, you really must experience the peace and tranquility of an early morning hot air balloon ride. Don't forget to take a sweater as the desert can get a little brisk in the morning. Don't miss an adventurous desert safari with dune bashing, camel riding, belly dancing, henna painting and a sumptuous buffet, they're all included in the package. But make sure you've got your camera ready to capture that stunning desert sunset. Believe it or not, I am still in the UAE and this is real snow. Welcome to Ski Dubai at the Mall of the Emirates. Whilst you're here, pop into the Avalanche Cafe, enjoy a hot coffee in the snow, in the desert. Best time to come is early morning when it feels like you've got the whole indoor mountain to yourself. See you on the slopes. Dubai is famous around the world for landmarks such as the Palm Islands and the world developments which can truly only be seen by air. A wonderful way to get a bird's eye view is by seaplane. Please see myself and my team for advanced reservations as this is a very popular activity. 
hope you enjoyed this sneak peek of what's in store for you here in Dubai. My team and I look forward to giving you a warm welcome on your visit to this spectacular part of Arabia. Masalama. Salama.